So this is Big Brother's little brother. First things first, let's kick things off with what has been going down. The first thing I believe that happened was would have been the evictions. Mm-hmm. So who left the house officially before we go unofficially? <laughs> <laughs> on Sunday, we had Cassia, OC, and Tofa leave the house. I mean, because before then, we had 11 housemates, and now we are down to eight housemates. Eight housemates. Mm. But there were other housemates as well. The the fake housemates that Big Brother had invested yeah, and brought his back. His agents. Yeah. His agents. Chiwe, um, Ruthie, and Dami. Were you sad to see any of them go? Um, I mean, they already left before. Yeah. You know? so, but, you know, they came into the house. They gave us drama, which a lot of people argued that the drama was too much, that they went over the board. They did too much. I mean, I shared the same sentiments. Mm-hmm. I had fun. It was interesting to see them come back and sort of try to get reactions on drama from the housemates. Because, I mean, the house was becoming quite silent, really? if you ask me. You know, so them coming into the house and just spicing things up, was it was really nice to see. But then, it, for me, because I know people will still argue, oh, no, no, they came for content and they gave us one. I think they came for content. They gave us one, but they kind of overdid it. Yeah. You know? Because they... I mean, what else do you really expect for them? If I was in their shoes and I've been evicted and I come back, I know I'm only coming back because maybe they thought I had drama before. So what are they going to expect? I mean, I know give us drama, drama, but it got to a point where it was almost physical. Really? Between you? Yeah, so it was was like Ruthie against OC and OZ. And they were really pushing OC, wanting him to react... You know, that could have caused a disqualification if OC had reacted. Mm -hmm, I mean, mm -hmm. and there was the whole poking of Wani. You know, you did this. Oh, I thought you did po, po, po. The last time I came, I'm here now. You don't have any liver. You know, so it it was just a lot. I was enjoying it at the beginning, no lies. But imagine them fighting from 12 midnight till 4 a.m. Why? Like they were going at each other. It was a lot. Mm -hmm. It was a lot. Yes, do it two hours max tone it down but it got to a point where i was now really scared for housemates that are still on the show you know imagine if they reacted and maybe fought back that's disqualification that's probably even part of the plan i mean but we don't want that plan (laughs) thank you they should carry themselves and be good (laughs) i mean some people have said that this was much a more quieter week because like you know it is about to round up Mm -hmm. so i do understand but you know they they did have a task and somebody did win a car who won the car wani wani won a car how do you feel about that i was really excited i mean this is one win that regardless of whether or not she's your fave you will just be genuinely happy for her because of her reactions when she won the car it was a very trust me imagine carrying a bucket for hours like big brother just told them since you people have been bored and you've been talking about how you miss your companions how you you feel lonely i brought companions for you and he brought them iron pails and told them to hug it it was an endurance task so you hug it till your hand starts to hurt then Biggie told them to drop it, hold it out with two hands. At oh, some point, no. they were there for, they started at seven and this task did not end up until like past 11. <gasps> so imagine her, <laughs> Oh yeah, no, she, <laughs> you yeah. know, so she deserved it. After that, they then had like a puzzle. They were down to two housemates, one male, one female. So it was between Wani and Ozzy. You know, so it was a, a competition between the twins. I mean, good girl. Yeah, half of the Mbadiwe twins yeah. and half of the Wani X Handy twins. So, Ooh, it was yeah it was still, yeah you know it was really <laughs> nice to see you know and then the last part they had to find like letters from letters that would now spell out the car mm. that they are now supposed to fix the puzzle and whoever finishes first gets to win that car mm. you know so it took a lot and for her to win it regardless of whether or not you know she's your fave or not. i just felt like yeah. everybody was genuinely happy i mean and girl power the fact that yeah it was, a woman that won. it was her first car Aww. and she was just like oh my god handy we have our first car i'm sure handy would have been screaming <laughs> wherever she is yeah it was oh, so nice that's so fantastic so nice. but you know nigeria did turn another year older mm. um on the first of october so they the housemates did get to celebrate in which way it's the housemates now biggie biggie treated them to enjoyment you know they had <laughs> i mean they have hey biggie Biggie, the chicken, the talking, what was going on? Because it was a lot. I mean, I was just looking at them like, wait, so the chicken is expensive here. What was happening? <laughs> why, why can't we buy it? <laughs> but I mean, they had a good time. Um, they also like gave speeches, more like written words, spoken poetry about Nigeria and how, you know, Nigeria is filled with milk and honey. <laughs> mm. I mean, 
mean and oil shout out to this beautiful nation we, we all <laughs> represent right um <laughs> let's move on real quick so they did have a pool party um as they do every single week and mm-hmm. you know uh, i remember we said in some of the other weeks when big brother and even apuka weren't happy with them and mm. they started like you know performing even more and more this pool party did anything interesting mm. happen this pool party the only thing i was seeing was still shaking around i'm like hey. what was happening here hey. Is, did you people leave all this shaking for the last week or do you guys think that because it's your last week then you need to just destroy the table break everything break the pool because i mean they had way too much fun and some people besties they say they be besties these besties these besties <laughs> oyeka ozi well, what did they happen what happened in the pool Hmm. Why were your mouths jam- jamming together? <laughs> besties. <laughs> no, but sometimes besties turn Which into besties is that? <laughs> Which type of bestie? From friends to lovers. That's to... the thing. They are both in denial. Mm-hmm. It's just not... Honestly, there's nothing wrong with you kissing somebody. That's yeah. not my problem. Like, you can... As long as it's not... You know, kiss how you want to kiss. But my point is, don't do it and then still tell me and thousands of people watching the show... That they are just friends and there's nothing. Mm-hmm. And I kept saying this thing to you in previous seasons. I feel like whatever reaction we're getting from Onyeka, you know, because everybody seems to be saying, oh, Onyeka, you're just, you're, you're trying to force yourself, you know, to have a relationship with this Ozzy guy. You know, the guy is not into you. And I'm like, no, for her to keep doing this thing consistently, there has to be something the guy is doing mm-hmm. that we're probably not seeing. There has to be something he's saying to her. And I know one of my followers on my page, my YouTube page had said to me, Better, there has to be something Ozzy tells Oyeka when the mics are off mm. for her to constantly want to just be around him. And because a girl, if a guy gives you the whole cold shoulder for a while, I mean, you will respect yourself and keep it moving. Yeah. But she has been consistent. And then last night, while she was in the pool dancing, he walked to her, he leaned over for a kiss, and then she jumped and grabbed the kiss. So at this point, who am I supposed <laughs> to blame? <laughs> You know, when you're in that house and it's been a while since you've, you know... It's funny because a <laughs> few days ago, he was literally just warning her and saying, oh, uh, I've told you, don't hold me like this. Don't hold me like this. You know, so it's like, bro, what are you What are you about? Yeah. I don't understand. <laughs> and stop. Why? I don't like it when men give the woman it's a not okay. hot and cold. It's not okay. If it you really want isn't. to be with her, be with her. If you want to be with Victoria, who you obviously spend time with as well, be with Victoria. Because mm. now you're kissing Oyeka. So Victoria should do what? Exactly. She just be, be staring. Ah, go for bid. <laughs> Third wheel. Hell no. So you said earlier that they have a top eight. This is the first time Big Brother has had a top eight, right? Yes. Why? Why do you think that's happening? Big Brother, come answer your question. Because I don't even know why. I mean, I mean, usually we're used to seeing our top five. You know, at some point top six. But this season, top eight. Season is very. I different. still don't have a logical explanation to why we have top eight, but however, I could also say that because the housemates came in pairs, they were a yeah. lot, you know. So it's okay to now say, you know what, let us also switch things up a bit, you know. As much as we're whether top eight, top ten, top fifty, it's just one winner. One person, yeah. So yeah, at this point, I really don't care if they are top fifty. Yeah. Just <laughs> can we get to Sunday, please? So, like you said, this Sunday is the finale yeah. out of the top eight. Your your baby is in the top My eight. My baby boy is there. He's there. Sujum <laughs> is there. Our, I don't care. 3% or not. <laughs> right? I forgot I said 3%. And Austin Bretha was 2.5% of that 3%. <laughs> so, I'm going to ask you again. Mm. Who are you rooting for? Who do you want to take? Who do you want to take home mm. all this money? <clears throat> Mini, mini, mani, mo. Mm-hmm. Even if I do mini, mini, mani, mo. Mm? Yeah. Whoever is going to win this thing has been written in heaven. Okay. okay <laughs> so, but I'm going to ask you questions. I want to know who you personally want to win. Huge. But I know that, I mean, it's so clear. It's so clear. Like, I know they say I'm driven. It's fine. Allow me. Allow me in peace. Okay. But out of who you think is getting the most responses from the but, public. But, you know, if I would genuinely speak about who would most likely win and this is the first time because i know if i don't answer you you can you, you can you, you can hold me at the door i would say that with the way the buzz has been going it's between kelly ray um wani mm-hmm. um victoria because victoria's fans are silent fans so they are not talking but they've been keeping her in the house mm. you know so these three people maybe Oyeka, mm. i don't know 
this stop, let's just my own is top four at this point. <laughs> <Big A. laughs> but yeah, I, I, I think see. it will be between these people. Okay. Yeah, just okay. seeing how the buzz has been going. All right. Well, nice predictions. And I'm like, so <laughs> well, you never know. <laughs> You yeah, never, you never know. know. <laughs> His fans could just come in strong this last. Well, you could just come in strong. This I'm last going last. on a rally. So, Joe. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, fingers crossed that he gets maybe third place. Now you know. <laughs> now you know. <laughs> Austin Bertha, this has been fantastic once again. It's always fantastic yeah. talking to you and breaking down what is happening in that crazy, crazy house. If you've enjoyed listening to what has been happening on Big Brother's Little Brother, you can catch us on our YouTube page at the Beat 999 FM and across all our other social media. You can also find snippets of this on Austin Bertha's page. What's your handle? My YouTube page is Austin Bertha, A U S T I N B E T H A. And that's the same across all social media platforms. So please follow me. Thank you. <laughs> You're very welcome. <laughs> that has been a fantastic way to kickstart the midday show in just a bit. It'll be time for the headline news, followed by um, hot topics in the 12 o'clock hour, and then lots more coming after that. But to kick things off, it's Naked featuring Iris Star. This one's called You're Hired. <laughs> 